Let's talk Tanya for the 22nd day of the second other. So, we've gotten to the place we understand the value of action, of action mitzvahs, of actually articulating the words of davening and learning, because that itself is an act, and every time that we do an action, we're elevating part of this physical world. And today we're going to start and discussing the other side of the coin, which is kavana. Kavana, which means intentionality, although that's actually probably not a precise translation, as we'll see soon. Our sages tell us that a tefillah, a prayer without kavana, is like a goof without a neshama, is like a body without a soul. And a body without a soul, I think we all understand, is not an alive body. And the obvious question is, after everything that we learned in the last few chapters about the value of action, action, why is kavana even important? And that's what we're going to be talking about over the, for, the, for the rest of this chapter, and actually this is going to take us for the next two chapters also. It's going to be a large topic, the importance of kavana. And over here I need to preface and say, what is kavana? Usually when we talk about kavana, we mean as we spoke in yesterday's Tanya, kavana means I'm doing a mitzvah, I'm mindful of the fact I'm doing a mitzvah, I'm not doing it absent-mindedly. I'm praying, I'm not just mumbling the words, I'm actually, I understand, or I'm thinking the pirish is the meaning of the words. But over here, the Altar is going to say kavana has a different meaning. Kavana means the intent, meaning why am I doing the mitzvah? What is my motivation in doing the mitzvah? Kavana is the motivation. The proper motivation for doing a mitzvah is two things. Ava Sashem and Yer Sashem, I do a mitzvah because I love God and therefore I want to connect to Him. And I know the only way to connect to Him is through doing a mitzvah. That's on one side. And the other motivation is Yer Sashem is awe and reverence for God. I'm in awe of God and His greatness and therefore I feel obliged to do that which He tells me to do. So that is the kavana of a mitzvah, the way, the way a mitzvah is supposed to be. So our sages tell us that if you do a mitzvah and you don't have the kavana, meaning you're missing the emotional component, you're missing the, the, um, you are missing the, the emotional attachment, which is one side of it is the love, the other side is the awe, the reverence, the respect, then whatever mitzvah you're doing, whatever prayer that you're praying is going to be like a body without a soul. Now, we need to understand two things. Number one, why is this uh, emotional component important if we're here in this world merely to elevate the physical? So if I do a mitzvah with a physical object, why isn't that enough? Number two, also we need to have a deeper understanding of the meaning of this metaphor. Why is that doing a mitzvah without the kavana is like a body without a soul? What is the comparison and the conversation and the explanation of this? We will start, God willing, in tomorrow's Let's Talk Tanya.